Hey, welcome to part two of the watering videos putting out here in August. Um, in part one, we talked about sort of familiarizing yourself with your container plants. What do they feel like when they're dry? What do they feel like when they're wet? Um, topper with landscape plants, of course. One thing I didn't mention in that video is, you know, you could use a moisture meter, particularly with the landscape plants. Um, you know, it's not something I like to utilize that often because you're just poking that, that sort of uh, probe into the root ball constantly. So, but definitely a tool you could use. Now the finger in the soil method, yeah, not so great, especially with uh, more compact type soil or, or a container mix that's older, it's not gonna work that well. Um, but uh, anyway, so one thing also I didn't say is, you know, Japanese maples, as we know, they want more of that drier conditions. We're not gonna be talking about cactus dry. We're not talking about wet like willows or cedars, but somewhere in the middle there. Now the extremes of August are not the time to really uh, hone your skills that way, but it's certainly more the time to make sure your, your plants are moist and gonna get through those hot periods. So uh, I believe it was ep episode 17, check out that where we talk about mulching, shade cloth, moving your containers, uh, different techniques to make sure you get through those hot periods of time. Um, you know, uh, one of the hardest things is if you have different size of containers, or your or even in the, the landscape plants, you know, if you've got a 15 gallon tree and a one gallon tree, they've got different requirements. Your one gallon is gonna be drying out quick and it's gonna need frequent watering. So you might be watering twice a day. Your 15, 15 gallon tree might need watering once every couple of days, but you're gonna to have to water it very, very deeply. And so there's also that thrown into the mix. So very, very challenging that way. Um, so if anything, you know, you're gonna be airing towards making sure those ones that need frequent watering get their frequent watering, um, but not, not to neglect, of course, our, our bigger potted ones as well, but uh, just to keep in mind that they do dry out even faster. So one thing that we don't think about when in the hot temperatures is not only is the tree uh, losing moisture through the root ball in the container, um, but it's losing moisture through the leaves, through respiration, I think it's called respiration, um, and, and then so you're losing moisture both through the roots, through the leaves, and the pot's heating up, so it's creating even more moisture loss in the, in the root ball. And so suddenly, you know, a tree that was uh, maybe underwatered but perfectly happy the day before, now you get those hot temperatures and it's losing moisture at an exponential rate suddenly, and, um, and suddenly you're seeing scorched leaves and the tree doesn't look great. So, um, yeah, you know, it's not, it, as, as I sort of touched on, it's, it's not going to be the time to hone your uh, skills watering. It's going to be the time to make sure your trees survive through those, those hot periods of time. You got to remember, if your trees are in a pot, they're dependent 100% on you for water, food, the sheltering conditions, all that stuff. And so it is critical to keep them uh, wet during those periods of time. So, um, yeah. Um, I think I've touched on all that stuff. Um, if I've missed something, there'll be a part three. But uh, yeah, any questions, uh, you can ask, put them in the comment section or email me info at simplyjapanesemaples.ca. Uh, like and subscribe. And as always, find our trees at simplyjapanesemaples.ca. Um, have a great day. Stay cool and keep your plants uh, hydrated as well. Till next time.